we could, yo, you think Harvey Weinstein tried to suck Cat Williams' dick for him to be in a movie? That was wild. I mean, there's how Cause if I'm hard, like, because wouldn't you be getting Just your come dick sucked? Come suck this dick. Not like, yo, I'll let you be in my movie if I can suck your dick. It's crazy. You a different kind of animal. Yo, that's <laughs> no, crazy, no, you, right? You're a different kind of animal if you want to suck dick to put somebody in the movie. That Maybe he just misspoke. <laughs> <laughs> maybe he misspoke. Maybe that's not what he meant. But you, you, Wow, boy. Yeah, you got to love suck sucking dick. dick. Hey, man, I want to put you in this movie, but I need to suck your dick first. Maybe, though. Come on, bro. Maybe. I'm telling you, I can see it. You can see what? Like, th I think there are male actors who also had to go through what Harvey put people through to get some roles. Duh. And none of them have come out about it. Yeah, but all we've heard about Harvey is just girls, women, that he's done that for roles. He's saying that the men are too embarrassed to admit that they got their dick sucked to be in a movie. Duh. And by the way, don't get it fucked up. Yeah, both of y'all are absolutely right. But there's powerful women in the business who do that shit too. There's powerful women in the business who take advantage of, you know, their positions and Hell who they yeah. are. And they... Making these motherfuckers, you know, do something strange for a little bit of change too. Don't get it fucked up. But what if we found out one of those powerful women was like, "Yo, if I can suck your dick, I'll put you in my movie." I can see that. Though. But how would we feel you can about see it? it? <sighs> how would we feel about it? Yeah. Movie, please. What movie? <laughs> Blue Beetle. <laughs> 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 yeah. Blue Beetle, our boy Jolo. It's weird. It's, it's strange, right? Because like, if if a person, if a woman comes to you and a woman says, "Yo, I'll put you in this movie if you let me suck your dick." What if she reverses it? So what? Try the same thing, but get okay. Say it to me. What do you mean? What's reverse? You go. Huh? So you go. You'll. I'll suck your dick if I. No, nah, I don't like how that's gonna look on camera. They might edit that shit and. <laughs> Have me leaning over to you, be like, "Hey, I'll suck you. you know what I mean?" So, what are you saying? Oh, you go. That's what bothers you, not you bending over before <laughs> all the memes they go put. <laughs> Anybody making the memes? Uh, <laughs> I, I, I'll suck you. Yo, let me suck your dick, and I'll put you in my movie. Okay, and so wow. So, who, what, what a is woman is going. Let me suck your dick. I'll put you. There. This is how that's going to go. But see, that's a that's a question, right? Let me suck your dick. Yes. And I'll put you in this movie. Oh, awesome. So if I let you suck my dick, yeah. that's consent. That's what I'm saying. It's yes, immediately. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then you found out you're also going to be in a movie, and you're like, this is great. I thought I was just coming here to audition. I didn't realize I was going to get my dick sucked. <laughs> now I'm also going to be in the movie. Like, this is the best case scenario ever. Yeah. I mean, it's interesting. I mean, I saw what Cat Williams said. It's just like, I mean, I can't. I, who am I to dismiss what Cat Williams said? That's but he's also a genius because now I can't wait to go see him on tour because I'm like, please talk about all this shit that you talked about in this move, in this interview. I feel like Cat has talked about this before, though. About the Harvey Weinstein thing. I feel like he, because I, I, that's what he was explaining in the interview. He was like, yo, I got, in, I got blackballed. I got in trouble for talking about Harvey before all of this shit came out. And he said that in his stand-up? I don't know if it was in his stand-up, but I feel like he said that uh, he said that somewhere before. Salute to Shannon Sharp, though. Club Shay Shay be cooking. He is cooking, man. Club Shay Shay be fucking cooking. Amazing. Like Club Shay Shay, the motherfuckers be going on there wilding, saying all types of shit. I mean, like I said, I don't, I, I don't, I don't, I don't think Cat Williams is lying, but I don't think it's a but. I think these motherfuckers, them some wild ass boys in fucking Hollywood. No, they're wild boys. And I think, in when, and I think when you got that kind of power and you got that kind of money, you you probably say shit like that. Mm. You know what I mean? Like I don't, you know, I just I I, I still don't know why he would want to suck a dick. That's the crazy thing to me. Yeah, if you're the person with the power and you have the ability to change somebody's situation, why would you be sucking the dick? Yeah, yeah. That's what makes it even wilder. But maybe. You're a comedian. Cat's a comedian. So that's a better bit. It is a way better <laughs> that's bit. That's a better bit. It is a better bit. You know what bit. I'm saying? Like, if he was to say, Harvey asked me to do X, Y, and Z, nah, he says we I, expect that. He says something funny afterwards. He said, I hell no, I didn't do that shit. Now I got to the table read, and there were two other black dudes there, and I was like, well, how the fuck y'all get into this movie? <laughs> <laughs> So he could just be doing a bit. It's funny. It's hilarious. It's funny. Yeah. It's funny. It's funny, man. It's funny. What else we got, Taylor? Taylor Tay Tay. Tay Tay. I, I saw a cat say something too about Kevin Hart. And he said Kevin Hart's um Kevin Hart's 
come up wasn't organic. I totally disagree with that. I totally disagree with that. And the reason I disagree with that is because we watched Kev not succeed in Hollywood. Mm -hmm. We watched his NBC sitcom. I think it was NBC. We watched his sitcom not succeed in Hollywood. We watched Soul Plane not do well. Also, stand-up is like as organic as it gets. Like Kevin was selling out these shows. He was what, selling yes. out clubs, arenas. Like people have to leave their house and then go see you. There's nothing the in like the industry can keep putting somebody in a movie that we don't like. Yeah. And eventually it's just like they gave this person opportunities that none of us give a fuck about, but they like them, so they're gonna do it. And maybe that's what happened with Kevin initially. But with stand-up, nobody can force people to go see your show. That's right. They either like you or they don't like you. So yeah, I don't. Play, play, I don't play, play the clip, Taylor. Play the clip. Scroll up, scroll, scroll up, scroll up, scroll. Go to Coach Millennial. Scroll up, Taylor. Right. Yeah, play that one. That one. That one. Hollywood has a memory of going to a sold Start out Kevin Hart show. There being a line. In 15 years in Hollywood, no one in Hollywood has a memory of going to a sold out Kevin Hart show. I do. There being a line for him ever getting a standing ovation at any well, comedy club. He already had his deals when he got here. Have we heard of a comedian that came to LA and in his first year in LA, he had his own sitcom on network television and had his own movie called Soul Plane that he was leading? No, we've never heard of that before that person or since that person. What do you think a plant is? Maybe people don't understand the definitions of these words. He just did his documentary with Chris Rock where he shows you that his whole upbringing in comedy was on the East Coast. Yeah, it was. So how simultaneously was he here in Los Angeles doing the same thing? It didn't happen. It didn't happen. And I, I, I hate to seem like a petty individual for picking apart lies, but Jesse Smollett gonna keep lying until you say we don't believe. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, 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 I don't, I don't know about the early I L.A. shit, but we watch Kev yeah. sitcom not be successful. We watch Kev's Soul Plane not do well. And then Kev hit that stand-up circuit. Hmm. And Kev was in those comedy clubs. And, hmm. Kev, and, and, and I, I can tell y'all things that I saw firsthand. Kev would have his team walk around the comedy clubs and collect everybody's email. And he would collect these emails all across the country. And he started sending out a newsletter. Kev would send out a newsletter every, every, every week telling you where he's going to be. By the time all of these social media platforms hit, I remember when Twitter first came out. And we all was like, how the fuck Kev get all of these followers? Because he already had this database of people right. because of his newsletter. Yeah. I remember when Kev sold out, and I've told this story a million times, it's in Kev's book too. Kev sold out Caroline's Comedy Club 12 times in a weekend. Like he did some unprecedented shit where he had like shows on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, like three shows a night or four shows a night. Some crazy, it was yeah. some crazy unprecedented number. Kept adding shows. Sold out, packed, Lying down the fucking block, and just I, we, we, we backstage, Kevin Duvall going at it like they always do, like just back in the back then, like they, you know, because they were always on the same circuit, going back and forth. Kev looked at Duvall and said, Hey, man, they about to announce my name. When they announce my name, the crowd's gonna go so crazy that I'm not gonna be able to hear you. So we probably should just end this conversation now. And as soon as Kevin said that, Coming to the stage. You seen him on this, you seen him on that, you seen him on that. From Philadelphia, Kevin Hart. Crowd loses it. Kev walks off, turns back to Duval, winks, <laughs> and goes on stage. I saw that for myself. That was 2009, <laughs> maybe early 2010. <laughs> so yeah, that's the, you know, I, 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 I gotta disagree with uh, Cat on that one. I, I, I was at, one of those sold out shows. Yeah. I remember when he did that at Caroline's and that was such a huge, huge moment deal. Yeah. Because <sighs> so I have to disagree with Kat on that one. Um, what else we got? Every time I cough, Chris looks at me crazy. He's like, man, he just came back from Africa. <laughs> He's talking. <laughs> <laughs> Chris is like, I don't know what the fuck is going on over there, but I don't want that. Shit. You think Charlotte got the malaria? <laughs> Chris, does Charlotte have the malaria or what? Oh, no, I'm not thinking malaria. What do you think he got? The Vinsky? COVID. He got the dirt. Ebola! In the